Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. I'm going to show you a simple way to sharpen your oscillating saw blades or your multi-tool blades, which is right here. And these blades can end up costing you a lot of money if you're using them often. And they are hard to steal, but they tend to get dull really quickly. So here's a blade that's already dull. And I'm going to show close above it what's ha what happens to it. And I'm going to show you how poorly it cuts. And I'm going to show you a simple way to fix it. And you can do this multiple, multiple times. I've done it probably 20 times on this blade. All you use is a regular file. And this is to flatten this down. If it's uh, not flat, you want to start off with a flat piece of metal. I'm just going to lightly run that over it. And then this is just a basic 60 degree file that allows you to go into those notches. Now this won't work for certain types of blades like this is for drywall. It's just got a different pattern and the six degrees won't work on there. But it will work for these type of blades, these wooden ones and metal ones that have that typical pattern on there. So I'm going to show you a close-up of what's going on right here, and then I'm going to demonstrate how to do this sharpening. Now before I go show a close-up of the damaged blade and what we're going to do, I want to show you what how a blade looks like. This is with the blade facing the camera. So this is just a rough drawing, but this is with the blade facing the camera just like that. So those, those teeth are slightly offset in each direction as they go. They're not all like that. They're not all flat. See, that's the flat side right there. I'm going to do even more of a close-up. The, the profile of that blade, they're staggered a little bit. One goes in, one goes out. And when you're going to file these, you're going to file them in such a way to try and match that in and out pattern. So the ones that are going this way, you're going to file this way. The ones that are going this way, you're going to file this way. And what that's going to do is going to reinforce that slight angle in that blade. And that's how you're going to maintain the blade and get it to use multiple times. So here's an extreme close-up of the blade. And I don't know if the camera can pick up that staggering I was talking about. If you look closely, you could see that those teeth do go in and out a slight amount. And they, when they create this, they have a press that goes in both directions and you want to try and duplicate that when you're doing that sanding. So we're going to be taking that small saw and we're going to be going and creating another V and we're going to be alternating the direction we go to match that slight angle. It's a lot easier than I'm saying. It's not that hard to do. So you can see what happens to a typical blade. You can see some of the damaged pieces right there. And it just starts to get dull, and we could bring it back to life. So we want it to end up looking more like this, which is the a blade that hasn't been used. So we're going to try and duplicate that. So I'm going to show you what this dull blade, how it cuts, and then we're going to take this blade, and I'm going to mark it so you know I'm using that actual blade with some whiteout, and we're going to see if I could affect its performance. There's also a company that does make a sharpening tool, and I'm going to have a little picture of that right now, and links to purchase that also. It costs about $40, and it is a rotary tool that you put in your drill, and it will make new cuts on any blade. And again, it's very specific for this type of a blade, and it really doesn't do a V-cut, uh, but it does work okay. And uh, if you don't want to go through this hassle, that is a quick way to sharpen your oscillating saw blades. So here I have a piece of wood. This is uh, a hardwood. It's not pine. It's uh, I can't remember the wood, wood it is, but it's a hardwood that I was staining and testing. And then here's the uh, dull blade. I got it marked with some white out right here. Let's just see how it performs. So you can see it's hunting a little bit and it's not cutting a straight line and if I kept going 
this will just get hotter and hotter and start to smoke. So here I have the dull blade in a vise and I have just two pieces of scrap plywood to lay this across flat and I'm going to take the one file and I'm just going to uh, go over this and just try and get a flatter edge. Because remember that little part right there was a little bit dipped down. Just look at it and you just want that to be flat. You don't want to get rid of the V's because you can use those as your reference. Now I'm going to look with a lens and I'm going to look at the direction that those go and I'm going to mimic that direction with my strokes of this little 60 degree file. So that first tooth goes this way so I'm just going to go with the file that way. I'm going to move on to the next one and go forward. Now let's look at the profile right there. And I got it looking okay. Now we're going to uh, test it out. Okay, so there's the original cut, and there's the blade that I just sharpened, the same dull one. Let's see if it improved a little bit. So you can see that was an improvement and it wasn't getting hot and it's a much straighter cut. Now you're not going to get a new blade performance out of it, but when you need to have a blade that you've dulled and you're on a job site or you're at home working on a project, this is a quick way to get more use out of your blade. You can do this many, many times as I mentioned.